South African power utility ESCOM has confirmed that the price increase to be implemented on the 1st of April to ESCOM direct customers is still 12.69% and for municipalities 14.25% from the 1st of July, as approved by the National Regulator of South Africa. UN mediator Jamal bin Omar briefed the 15-member Security Council yesterday, warning that Yemen's conflict could become an Iraq-Libya-Syria scenario if either side pushes for control of the country, prompting the UN Security Council to threaten further measures if the hostilities do not end. Ebola, which was first declared in Guinea a year ago but quickly spread to Sierra Leone in Liberia, has killed over 10,200 people and infected twice as many in these three hardest-hit countries alone. Though the numbers of people infected and dying of Ebola has dropped, the disease continues to spike in Guinea and Sierra Leone. Tunisia's president has revealed that a third gunman involved in last week's museum attack, which killed 23 people, mostly foreign tourists, is alive and on the run after two suspects were shot dead by security forces. Tunisian authorities have arrested more than 20 suspects in a nationwide security crackdown after last Wednesday's assault. Nearly 400 people left homeless by a cyclone that battered the tiny Pacific nation of Vanuatu say they are not getting enough emergency aid a week after the monster storm. Aid agencies say the relief effort is gearing up and they have started moving food, water, shelter and medicines to the worst affected areas.